Hello everyone, FedEx Gaming here and welcome back to another Redstone tutorial. In this video, I'll be showing you how to build a simple armor stand swapper that swaps through all five types of armor. So right here we have our leather armor. If I click this button, our chained armor will pop up. Click the button again, our gold armor will pop up. Click the button again, our iron armor will pop up. And last but not least, if I click the button again, the diamond armor will pop up. So as you can see, it went through all five different types of armors. And of course, if I click it again, it will reset back to the first armor now if you want to trade out the button with a pressure plate you can do it however i like the button a lot better but see hit the pressure plate our armor swaps hit the pressure plate again our armor swaps again hit the pressure plate again so on and so forth so let's go ahead and look at the redstone behind this thing and yeah guys that is it that is the entire thing it is so simple to build i'm actually pretty proud of myself to getting this thing work so when we click the button as you see we'll swap the armor click it again and it'll just keep swapping through the armor until you get all the way back around to the fifth armor set so let's go ahead and start building this thing all right guys for this build you're going to need a three by five spacing and you're also going to have to dig down seven now that red stain clay right there is where our armors will be popping up and down so you'll know exactly where the armor stands will be going now the resources you're going to need for this build are one sticky piston one regular piston one redstone repeater six redstone torches nine redstone dust one button or pressure plate whatever you want to use you're also going to need one slime block five armor stands four wooden trap doors you can use iron ones if you want to but the wooden ones are a lot easier to get your hands on we're also going to need one piece of sand and one immovable object i'm going to be using a furnace so once you have gotten your three by five spacing and you've gathered all of your resources come to the bottom left hand corner and what we're going to do is just count up one block one and we're going to place a piston right here facing upwards with our sand block on top of it then right in front of it, we're going to place down our immovable object. I'm going to be using a furnace. And then coming out of this sand block, we're going to place our one repeater going this way on two ticks delay. Next up, come to the other side of your piston and place a block right here with a piece of redstone on top of it. And then we're going to put a redstone torch off the side of that block. Then right here, we're going to place two pieces of redstone. One, two. Break out this block right here and place in a sticky piston facing upwards. It should extend up and then place your slime block on top of it. Now that is the reason why we needed that immovable object there. Then right next to your sticky piston, we're gonna break out this block as well, and then place a redstone torch off the side of it. Next up, place a block in front of your two tick delay repeater with a piece of redstone on top of it, a block next to your redstone, a torch on top of the block, a block on top of the redstone torch, a piece of redstone on top of the block, so there should be a piece of redstone going into a torch, and then a block above the torch, with another piece of redstone on top of it. And then we're gonna place a block right next to our redstone dust with another torch coming off the side of it. This redstone torch will go off. And then right above this redstone torch, we're going to place in a block of choice. You will be able to see this block. Then we're gonna come right underneath this redstone torch with another block like this. And then place another piece of redstone down right here. Next, we're gonna place a line of blocks coming all the way up from this slime block. So just place a block right here next to this redstone like this and then come all the way up to the top part until you are flush to the floor of your build. Next up, we're gonna break this block right here off the slime block. Now it is time to place in our wooden trap door. So place the first one here upside down, and then on the second block, we're gonna place it regular, and then do the same thing for the next two blocks. Just place them regular like this one. So place another one here, and then place another one here. So there should be one armor stand here, two, three, four and then fifth one should be right down here on the slime block and that should be everything guys you should be completely done so before we put in our input for up here we're just going to test it out to make sure everything is working so go ahead and take out your button and just place it off the block right here above this redstone dust and then if we click the button our trapdoor should open up real fast and then close real fast and your sticky piston should retract and extend real fast as well so click it open close and that should extend real fast too so let's go ahead and put our armor stands in everything should be working fine so go ahead and grab out your armor stands like this and place the first one here and then we can just click the button like this and it will just go down to the next one so it's working fine let's do it again click the button again and it'll go down to the third one beautiful click the button again it should go down to the fourth one great and then last but not least it should go down onto that slime block just like that and then when we click the button it should launch all the way back to the top before it closes and there you guys have it everything is working great so now all we have to do is just put in all our armor stands so what i like to do is just open up my trap doors by going like this and let this one drop all the way down until you get to that slime block so just let it drop all the way down 
and then what we're going to do is open up this one right here and then go ahead and place in your next armor stand it should fall all the way down to the top of that trap door and then open up the next one like this and then place in your armor stand once again it should fall right onto the trap door open up the next one like this and then place in another armor stand they should fall right onto your trap door and then last but not least open up this one and let it fall right onto your trap door and there you guys have it now all we have to do is just set up our input and we will be completely done all right guys so to get things started off with your input come back down here and break that button we don't need to test it out anymore and we're going to place two blocks right here one two and then off the side of this block we're going to place a redstone torch it will make everything activate don't worry about it so we're going to place in our redstone torch and as you can see it just made everything activate real quickly and then we're going to place in two pieces of redstone on top of this block right here so one two and then off this middle block we're going to place in another block with a redstone torch coming off the side of it this should shut it off and then we're going to place in another piece of redstone dust here place a block above it and then go ahead and place in your button and there is your input so we're going to go ahead and break these blocks as well we don't need these so if i click the button as you can see it will rotate through all of my armor stand so just keep clicking the button and it should rotate just fine so now all we have to do is just clean up the area by placing blocks in like this and placing blocks around this area as well and now all that's left to do is to place your armor on top of your armor stands so i just went ahead and skipped through the video so you didn't have to see me put all the armor on the armor stands but when i click the button it will switch to our leather armor click the button again it should switch to our chain armor click the button again to change to our gold armor next up is the iron armor and then last but not least, it goes back to the diamond armor. And then, like I said in the beginning, if you want to, you can trade this out for a pressure plate. So if you want to break the button and place in a pressure plate, so hit the pressure plate, it will switch your armor. Hit the pressure plate again, it'll switch your armor, so on and so forth. But there you guys have it. That is how you build a simple armor stand swapper that swaps through all five armor types. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave it a like and subscribe. Stay tuned with my newest videos. All right, guys. Peace.